Hey, and it is Sunday, and I am absolutely makeup free, and it is time for me to do some of my Sunday rituals, which we get super busy in life. I run the Ethical Kitchen, and uh, with my gorgeous team, uh, we are always looking at ways that we can simplify, beautify, and uh, look after this planet. So. I'm in my garden out here in Coffin Bay, South Australia. My gorgeous dog over there, I've got to show you. Sitting in the doorway. I don't know how to zoom with this one. Hang on, let's go. Well, there she is. That's my eco bathroom. So I live out in the National Park in South Australia. I made the move from Sydney. I had a super high stress career and uh, I made the change about 20 years ago to come where I can breathe and uh, that's pretty much what I'm doing so yeah we have some products in the beauty range that are real basic for example the Australian bentonite clay and we use the bentonite clay lots of different reasons so we do detoxing we ingest it we make face masks we sell it in little pre-packed travel tins whatnot because you guys have a bit of an idea what to do with it but if you don't have a bit of an idea what to do with it. Let me just give you one little tip. Now, we don't want plastic in the earth. We are trying to eliminate waste. This is the ethos. We also want sustainability and we want a conscious planet. We want non-toxic substances in us and we want to come as close to nature as we possibly can. So I'm going to spin you around and show you one ingredient that needs to be added to bentonite clay to make the best face mask. You will be absolutely beside yourself. It is so simple. And if you are buying this product pre-packaged because you live in the city, etc., honestly, this is so easy to grow. Have you guessed what it could be? Aloe vera aloe vera everybody knows about it some people make a juice from it um there are some precautions with uh ingesting it but today i'm just talking about how easy it is to make a bentonite clay and aloe vera gel so all you need to do let me grab you and spin you around so here she is in all of her splendor. Now, the aloe vera plant is actually, I think, very beautiful. When I touch it, I feel like I'm touching something like human. They are spongy, thick, divine plants. So what I like to do is I like to not touch these little ones. I want to let them grow. But these here, obviously, you can see the discolor there. So they're drying out. So the ones with the most gel are gonna be your juveniles. So I'm just trying to find here the best one that I can find. The curling up and that, probably leave them alone. Depends how much choice you have and also how much you think you need. So, I'm going to actually grab this baby here. I'm just looking at the surface area of the width of it. And all you need to do is pull down a few times. Loosen the leaf. That's spiky, so be careful. And she will actually tear out like that. There's that precious gel in there. Now I will take that inside and I'll split it. So I'll split it straight up and I will try and cut as close to the top surface as I can. I will end up with only using this much and the rest will keep in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna scrape the gel out I'm going to mix it with bentonite clay and I'm going to use it as a face mask. Leave it on as long as you like. 
your skin will normally tell you. Take the time to breathe. Two ingredient face mask. Super easy, super natural. Thank you, Mother Nature. Aloe Vera. DM if you have any questions.